Hey guys, welcome back. It's Marily, or as you guys know me as Harmonic Curls, and today is wash day with my full locks. So I want to show you guys my quick and easy routine on how I maintain my locks and how I keep them nice, fresh, and clean. So let's go. So to cleanse my scalp, instead of using a shampoo, I like to use a cleansing conditioner because I feel like shampoos can be a little harsh when cleaning your hair. And I want something to not only clean my scalp but also moisturize and give it some softness. I like to mix this in into a spray bottle with water so that I can go ahead and just apply the product specifically in the sections that I want. I used to use the Jane Carter cleansing conditioner so I'm trying out the Carol's Daughter one this time around. Once my hair is pretty much wet I like to move the locks around and spray the product into the divisions that I have and just really rub it in with my fingers. I concentrate on the top first um, because it's what I can visibly see better and I'll use my nails to kind of like massage it in and just scrape around and make sure I really get in there. I mostly concentrate on the scalp just because that's where most of the dirt, sweat, and product accumulates. And once I've pretty much done most of the top, I'm going to go ahead and just put it up into a bun and then just repeat the same thing on the bottom. I use my microfiber towel just to squeeze out any of the water from the roots and the rest of my locks. The material of the towel prevents frizz and it also absorbs the water much more. I let my hair pretty much dry out just a little bit until it's damp and I'll go ahead and add an oil to my hair. The one I'm using is the Main Choice Growth Oil. This basically just helps rejuvenate, sort of smooth out and condition my scalp, which is exactly what I need. And it also has biotin, vitamin C, and D. This oil is also not too greasy, so that's like perfect because you don't want your head looking like a grease ball. And I'll go ahead and just massage that in all around. If you're suffering from like an itchy, itchy scalp and like a lot of product buildup, tea tree oil is actually very good for itchy scalps. And um, I haven't tried this personally, but a lot of people tell me that apple cider vinegar if you mix it and apply it onto your scalp before a wash helps get rid of a lot of the product buildup that you have you definitely need a leave-in conditioner and I like to mix this one in again with my spray bottle with a little bit of water and I like to just spritz it around all around my head so not just the roots but even on the actual locks up to where my real hair actually goes so I'll leave this in this is just to add additional moisture to my hair all around. Um, and once I got the main parts of my scalp, I like to squeeze some in into the actual locks up to where my hair actually goes. Now for those locks that are starting to look a little sloppy, if you can't redo it or um, it's not all the way out, what I like to do is just grab some string, some of the braiding string. The string just holds the lock and gives it a little bit more character. So adding an accessory or decoration on it helps hide the fact that it's starting to come loose, but also, again, give it a little more character. And that is it. I hope this helps clear any doubts that you might have had, any concerns. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. My scalp always feels nice and refreshed, moisturized. When I take these down, it's always like if my hair was like reborn because it feels softer, I feel like it curls better. I don't know if that makes sense. It's very important to keep your scalp moisturized, to keep your scalp clean, make sure that your hair is growing in nicely. Most of the time we put this in, not only to protect the hair, but also to help our hair grow out. It's very important to keep a very healthy, and a nice uh, routine going just for your scalp. Can't just forget about your hair while it's in here. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.